Remember, we all have talents. All you need to do is keep practicing. Story time is up next as Wangare shares about Ugly Duckling. Hey, hey! Mkopoa! Wangare the storyteller here. And of course, that means it's time for a story. Now, the story that we are going to read next is a story that you might have heard before. You might even have watched a movie because it's quite a famous story. But you know what? When I was growing up, my mother always said that if you find a good story, you can read it as many times as you want. And so, I am going to do exactly that and read for you this particular story. It is The Ugly Duckling. Sounds familiar? Mm-hmm, it is. But let's hear what this particular book says about that particular story. Mrs. Duck was so excited when, one spring day, her new eggs began to hatch. Crack, 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 crack. And soon, her baby ducklings waddled out one by one. At last, just one egg remained. Oh, it's huge, said her friend. Is it a duckie's egg? Certainly not, snapped Mrs. Duck. And suddenly, the enormous egg began to crack and out waddled a really strange duckling. He was very big with funny scruffy feathers and the other ducklings, oh, 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 they laughed at him. And they began to tease him. Oh, you're ugly, squawked one. You're very ugly, sniggered another one. You're a really, really ugly duckling. They all laughed. And they were quite mean, right? Mm-hmm. Mrs. Duck did not know what to do. She took the ugly duckling to the lake. Uh, but let's see if you can swim, she said. Then I shall know that indeed you are not a turkey. The ugly duckling dashed straight into the water and he proved to be the best swimmer of them all. But the ducks at the lake still teased him. Leave him alone, cried Mrs. Duck who felt sorry for her poor, bedraggled baby. In time, the poor little duckling grew tired of being teased. He decided that he was going to leave home. He waddled off down the road, but soon his little legs grew tired. And at last, he met an old lady who let him into her warm cottage. Soon, however, she grew cross because the duckling didn't lay eggs like her hen, so she shooed him away. Oh, how sad. The ugly duckling wandered on alone until he reached the lakes, and there up in the sky, there were some fine white swans, and they looked, mwah, they looked beautiful. The swans were flying off to a warmer place now that winter was on its way, the hardest time of the year, as the ugly duckling would soon find out. Before long, snow fell and the lakes froze over. The ugly duckling shivered with cold. He was lonely and he was hungry. When a group of happy children came out to play on the ice, the ugly duckling ran into the reeds and hid. Oh. At last, the long winter drew to a close. The sun shone and the ice began to melt. The fine white swans, which the ugly duckling had seen flying away, had now come back to swim in the lake. Oh, how I should like to join them, sighed the ugly duckling. But I know they will only laugh at me. Everybody does. Still, they look very kind. 
I, I think I'll just head their way and see. And he set off towards them. But then, as he moved away from the reeds, he glanced at his reflection in the open water. And he could not believe what he was seeing. He was no longer a darkling. He was no longer ugly. He had turned into, yes, into a swan. Beautiful, elegant, and white swan. Oh, this is unbelievable, he shouted. Ooh, you are a handsome, magnificent swan, said the others. Do come and swim with us. And everyone agreed that he was the best swan on the lake. So now, the bell raggled ugly duckling had changed into the finest and into the happiest swan in all the world. And just a word to all of you that anytime you see someone who is different, who is not like you, who cannot do the things that you can do, who is not as talented as you, as gifted as you, it is really, really mean to say bad things to them. All right? Because we are all different and it is all this difference, this diversity that makes the world a beautiful place to live in. Bye.